Hello everyone, today we are checking out Kotika Torehime in G4L, which I believe is supposed to be Gal. Now, I'm not too familiar with Kotika, I know she's a part of the group Exole. We did hear the group song for Exole, Hold It Down, in our big Niji Sanji group song reaction. But today we are just checking out Kotika and her English cover. So, let's get right into things. I am not familiar with her voice, so this is going to be really my first exposure to just how she sings and what her voice is like. So, in three, two, one, let's go. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Huh. All right, already we've got this extremely unique articulation, presentation, instrumental. It's very, it's playing around with the EQ quite a lot. We've got this very, uh, very vast, I believe it's a low cut or perhaps a high cut. Uh, to, that just swoops the instrumental tones we're getting from a very bassy uh, EQ presence to a very high treble very quickly. And and we're using different instrumentals to get to that low bass to the high uh, treble. I believe that's a, either a bass synth or just a digital drum that's super high on bass. And then we're getting these uh, percussive elements on the up high. And then it, it's... It's so high in the instrumental treble that when we're getting her voice, which is pretty high up as well, it almost feels like a mid-tone. Mm. Okay. This song is... Very interesting. It's, it's a little difficult for me to follow, but I, I'm, I'm really liking how she's playing with her voice and her projection here. You can hear she's tightening her throat at the end of her exhalations there to make the pitch just jump up a little bit at the end of her projection. And it creates this uh, bounciness and this uh, jerkiness to the song That's uh, it feels very hectic and jittery. And I think she's uh, she's emulating the mood of the song and the presentation of these lyrics very well. Nice. 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 We're getting these... Now this more sing-songy projection, but we're still keeping that vocal effects on her voice. We're still keeping the that treble tone that she's using still. And I feel like I, I almost personally want less effect on her voice. I understand it's completely for the aesthetic of the song, but I want to hear more of just her natural voice and how that sounds. Mm. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Okay, I'm really now. This is this is a lot easier for me to follow in terms of how the instrumental is progressing, how she's matching the instrumental. Before it was a little too hectic for me. It was a little hard to follow. I wasn't really able to latch on to something. Here, I feel like the song is kicking into gear, and I can I can understand and appreciate where her voice is in the mix now. And there's a pattern for me to follow now. I really, really like how she sang uh, that part there, especially towards the end. the Her vocal flair and then the I've had enough. Nice. That... Nice. You can hear she lands on that note and then we get an instrumental. We get a bit of a cutout and then we get the instrumental matching her on that note, then going wild with that digital percussion and then she's going to this next vocal segment here. Nice. I like how she jumps up. You can hear that 
that vocal variation it, it feels like a, it feels like the percussive elements that are so digital and wonky are almost matching how jittery she is in this mix because she's jumping all around. She's covering these different tones and she's doing these jumps very comfortably. It's very impressive that she's able to just jump up high, come back down so so flawlessly. I, I'm really appreciating how she's able to pull that off. interesting that was that's a very interesting vocal mix we've had that we, we've got there because you can hear as each lyrical line is introduced you can hear there's a bit of a fade in on the eq especially towards the beginning you can hear that and it, perhaps it could just be me hearing the fade in and the eq fluctuations in the back of the mix or well i say back of the mix but it's pretty up high it's just instrumentation really but i feel like the lyrics themselves the vocal tracks themselves do have a fade in on them it sounds like there's a bit of eq um fluctuation there i could be wrong it could be just the instrumentation but i believe that is also on the vocal tracks there Interesting. We've got these very interesting bass tones introduced here now. The instrumentation for this entire song so far has been off the charts. It's been very hectic and very unique. I'm really liking just the amount of flavor it's adding to this because a lot of times uh, songs will try to get too unique and they'll kind of lose the catchiness or just the flow of the song. But you can hear this song has a very clear progression to it. And even if it's not necessarily my favorite kind of music, I can definitely appreciate being able to put together all of these tones and have a vocalist able to manipulate their own pitch to create a matching progression on the vocal track, which is especially, especially impressive when you've got such hectic instrumentation to match. Nice. Nice. That was a very good transition there. You can hear the way she jumps up in pitch and she it's almost like a yelp in the terms of how she tightens up her projection. It, it, she jumps up high in pitch, tightens up her projection, and then switches her vocal demeanor. That was very clean. Right there. That was a very clean. Mmm. Very nice. There you go. Now listen to that. The way her entire demeanor changes. She we got about. It sounds like we got pretty much three distinct voices there. We had the sustain from earlier, where she jumped up high, then she came back down and had this sassy sing songy tone, and then she dropped down low in pitch. The first time we've really heard her attack those bassier notes. And now we're getting this deeper voice from her. But we didn't get it for too long. She jumped up high pretty quickly. Nice, right here. No. Oh, okay. Nice. We got it. We got it for a bit. And now we're using that bassier vocal tone as a backing vocal to layer with the other vocals in the track. Mm, interesting so now and then right there instead of going back to that very treble based a very carefree tone we were getting from earlier now we're going back to that sassy note that and, and when i say sassy what i really mean is using more of a nasally voice using that bit of nasally tone to your voice can make it sound more intentful and being able to do that very just 
on the fly and get it going back and forth between these different vocal demeanors is very impressive. I really like that vocal control. Mm. Nice! We're getting her going between those nasally tones and then up to like a very high register there. Nice! Mmm, I like that vocal layering. Mmm. Nice! Mmm. Interesting. So, hmm, that's interesting. For the I've had enough part here, now we've got this very digitized vocal uh, shift up, this pitch shift up. Um, before, it was a lot more acoustically, or I suppose traditionally, expressive in her vocal tone, but now we've got that digital and a much more emphasized digital percussive breakdown right after that line going into this part once more. So that definitely adds some progression and some continuation to the song that is definitely notable. Mm. And we're getting a lot of vocal layering now. And the vocal layering here doesn't sound like it has a very much effect on it, which could be saying something more so about the message of the song than as an acoustic choice. Mm. Nice. Interesting. So we're getting those vocal backing tracks and they feel much cleaner in the backing vocal than at the front of the mix. And when I say cleaner, I mean clean in terms of digiti uh, digital effect put on top of them. And so it's it sounds like this song has a very, like, it's the acoustics of the song, or when I say acoustics, I mean more so just the overall sound of the song. It seems to fit its message much more than just a vocal a vocal being manipulated to sound good or obviously the sounds excellent but when i'm when i say that i mean the vocals have very clear intent behind how they're mixed which is always something that i i always want to point that out whenever i feel like i notice it because it's it's a very difficult thing to do to mix your vocals and your instrumentation to convey a message as opposed to relying on the lyrics or just the mood or of or the emotion conveyed in the song which alone is already impressive so massive props to kodaka and the team that worked with her for being able to convey that through their presentation of the song Nice. And it was a lot more clean. You could hear the vocals at that very end. They had a lot less uh, digital effect on them. That, was, that could have been the backing vocal track raised in volume, but I'm not too sure. But that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much for recommending this to me. I, I'm very impressed with uh, Kodaka's voice. I'd like to hear more from her. I, I hope she does more um, music. I'll have to check her channel to see if there's anything else that I haven't seen from her. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for recommending. As always, feel free to recommend more in the comments below. Aside from that, I will see you next time. Thank you so much.